into the heart of the area and Todd is there to get the header away get the feeling that Todd is going to be a big player for UCD this season here's Lee Grace that's a clever ball from Grace a chance here and that's side netting from Neil Ferrugia Whelan is underneath this and he's managed to retain possession for UCD he's done well there Whelan good ball as well out to Kerrigan Kerrigan's away into the area here Liam Kerrigan oh. that's a fine save by Alan Manis best we've seen from UCD by a mile really good play the hold of play is brilliant he, he pulls it down he then goes through a tackle and then he's a wonderful pass out Evan from Caffrey, Caffrey pass, yeah. for his first touch from Kerrigan it kills Lee Grace all ends up the first touch it's a wonderful touch that sets him up and he's away moves into Shamrock Rovers territory Brennan trying to play one through and what a through ball that is to Kerrigan and Manus makes the save again well, what a chance that was for Liam Kerrigan brilliant ball from Brennan oh wonderful ball from Brennan he got on the ball a couple of times he, he kept it simple and then he opened up and it's a great it's actually a fantastic run from outside the in from Kerrigan it looks like it goes past O'Neill which probably catches Lee Grace out again Alaman is just wonderful save whipping it in towards the near post and there it is there's the opener Sean Hoare getting his head to the ball and Rovers have eventually broken the deadlock and five, six minutes before half time Sean Hoare training ground routine and it's Shamrock Rovers 1 UCD nil. yeah they changed their routine Con, but it's all about the delivery it's absolutely whipped into the front area from Jack Bourne Hoare's on the move and he's gone full tilt and he just gets a glancer on it and ends up hitting this, the far side netting it's a wonderful delivery but it's a fantastic run from Sean Hoare and a wonderful goal from Shamrock Rovers. And the prop, listen, like we said, if they, if they can block the, the, the zonal stuff and get runs on people, that's what happens. So, a lot of people, well, me especially, thought Derry would be really dangerous this season. I still think they will be. But here come UCD, maybe they'll be dangerous here. Space for Kerrigan on the edge of the area. That's a good effort from Kerrigan, just wide of the post. Now it's McAvoy. You see the difference in Lopez. But look at gets his team up, and now they're oh, always out of way. way. Here's Danny Mandrou driving towards the edge of the area. Took an effect. Oh, oh, it's off the post. Gaffney has it now for Shamrock Rovers in the area. And close to three 0 It's gone out of Euro for a throw in to the hoops, taken quickly by Dylan Watts. Gaffney again, just uh, ahead of Jack Byrne. Here is Jack on it now. Watts is fouled there by McAvoy, so it's a free kick in a good position here for Shamrock Rovers, but very close to 3-0. Poor pass from Yoro, and it sets Mandroy away. Brennan does well to get back at him, and he kicks it through, and it deflects off the back of Todd's leg. <laughs> He's a penny there. Can't. Oh. oh, a mistake by Todd. The chance here for Mandroy to make it number three, and a good save again. Lorcan Ely denying Mandroy, who could have had a hat-trick in this game. He could have easily, yeah. It's, I think he takes a little bit too early, actually. I thought it's a, it's a bit of a... It's just a swipe and he's away, and then he... Yeah, I think he takes a little bit too early. And normally he advances that and slots yeah. them a little bit more, but... Todd will be relieved. Oh. A bad mistake by him. Glad you're able to watch the match on LOI TV. Is Aaron Green pushes forward here Mako making the run ahead of him Green slides it through to him Mako the shot's oh. on target and a good save from Healy it's a brilliant pa it's a brilliant pass from Green actually really really good because he treads it through and the weight of pass and Mako take a touch on it he chops inside you can see what he's trying to do here he's there the ones he has to really set that out past the front post and let it bend back in and Full time in the Pats. Game. Full time in the Pats game. 3 0. Rovers with a chance to go 3 0 up here. Graham Burke finds the net. And there it is. That wraps it up for Shamrock Rovers. The ball given away cheaply by UCD. You cannot afford to do that with players of the quality of Graham Burke around. And he made them pay. Yeah, architects are their own downfall here. That, that they're trying to play out and it just doesn't work. And you can see them having an inquiry into it here. And Green does really well. He just sets Graham Burke up and he. He has that little bit of composure and wraps his foot around and reverses it into the bottom corner. You see here, look, centre-back dribbling with it. You can't, you, you can't do that at this level. 
and not be punished by it. And you see Bork just wraps his foot round. He's looking at the keeper as he does it. Well, Stephen, three goals, three points, job done. Yeah, exactly what we wanted. Clean sheet, uh, three points, and uh, we're off. We're off and running now. Uh, one or two nervous moments in the first half. Kerrigan caused a few problems. Yeah, they're good players. We said that before the game. We said it during the week. They have some good players in the attacking part of the pitch. They have pace. They have power. Uh, Alan made two really good saves um, at an important time in the game. Um, Alan does that for us. He, he's a top keeper. Um, and then, then we really got to work and, and uh, won three, but it could have been four or five in the end. As a coach, when a training ground routine comes off and you score a goal from a set piece like that, it must be particularly pleasing. Yeah, it's always nice when you see things that you've worked on, uh, whether it be a set play or, or, say, Danny's goal, for example. It's always nice to see uh, certain things come off. And, um, yeah, no, happy, happy three points, three goals. Yeah. How good was that header, by the way, from Mandroyo? Fantastic, fantastic header. It's probably the hardest chance he had all night. He's disappointed near Danny not to come off for a hat-trick. Um, I said at the start of the season, I think Danny can score 20-plus goals. Um, he's a goal threat from, from every part of the pitch with every part of his body, and we've seen that tonight. Fantastic header. Um, but like I said, he should have probably had two or three. Yeah, you were up in the stands tonight due to suspension. Um, there were over 5,000 other people in the stands as well. On what is one of the coldest nights that I can ever remember at Tala, to get a crowd of that size against UCD must be particularly pleasing as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. I said during the week um, that the players and the staff really, really appreciate it. Uh, we understand last week uh, the conditions and tonight the conditions. And to get over 5,000 is, is unbelievable. So, again, a massive thank you to each and every supporter that, that put their hand on the pocket and came tonight because they could have easily sat home and paid €7 Euro and watched it on TV. But thankfully they came.